children and welcome to another video on my channel. Now first off I must apologise for the racket that may intermittently come through from next door. That's because our neighbours have hit control Z on their house and are basically starting again from scratch. Um, so they're uh, ripping tiles off the wall, pulling the plumbing out and just generally making a mess. Uh, but uh, well anyway I thought I'd like to talk a little bit here now about the epic road trip that uh, Zoe and I have embarked upon in the last week. Uh, we went down to Cambridge. The reason for this was because uh, Zoe had an interview. She's wanting to stand for Parliament, so she had to go through the interviews make sure that she's not a complete and utter nutter. Um, it would be uh, advisable if UKIP tried uh, carrying out such preliminary screening tests. So while Zoe was uh, in her interview, I thought, uh, yeah, I'll go for a little bit of a wonder. Now, Cambridge is an interesting place. It's very oldie-worldie. And uh, I went to university in Durham, and Durham has a similar kind of feel to it, but Cambridge is an awful lot bigger and an awful lot flatter. Lots of people on bicycles, and uh, a lot of people who really, really would be very much in need of the cycling proficiency test. Yes, they know who they are. Uh, running red lights, undertaking vehicles that were attempting to turn left, that sort of thing. You know, lycra louts, or mammals, that stands for middle-aged men in lycra. But uh, I went uh, through all the shops, there's a lot of little boutiques and stuff, but I did find FOP Records. Uh, this name may be familiar to a few of you, but not really to me, because we don't really have one up here. But one of the things that they specialised in was vinyl records. So, uh, as was my want, uh, purchased a few uh, bits and pieces, some of quite nice albums, they had a huge selection. But uh, Empire of the Sun there, their new album, Ice on the Dune, probably shining an awful lot because we got an artificial sun in the studio, uh, but that was one of them. And uh, of course, uh, Amy Winehouse, Back to Black, a lot of people rave about this album, so I thought I'd see what the fuss is about. Actually, it's alright, it's not too bad. Um, and uh, the final one from a group called uh, Churches, I heard this on Radio 2, or one of their tracks, and I really do like this. Electronic music, 80s style, I do quite like, although this is a new group, um, although strangely enough, um, as you can see, the stylized logo, Chverches with a V, um, it's actually spelt that on the web address, which is kind of peculiar, but hey. Um, also went through uh, John Lewis's there and Marks and Spencer's, that kind of thing. Lots of overpriced uh, clothing boutiques. But as soon as chucking out time came from Zoe from her interview, we jumped back in the car and uh, we made the pilgrimage down to London to St Margaret's, actually, of all places. Not helped by the fact that the M25 was shut at uh, Potter's Bar, which really didn't help proceedings because the queue of traffic was allegedly yeah, something like 12 miles long. So uh, we headed in on the A1 down to Brent Cross and ran the North Circular. A little bit of a mistake really, especially in an old car like mine that's got over 208,000 miles on the clock. Yes, you did hear that right. It's a petrol engined car, which always seems to amaze the people at any garage I go to that it's still running well after all this time. but sitting in stop-start traffic on the North Circular really did not bode well, so uh, the temperature was running a bit hot and we were getting little puffs of blue smoke when we were pulling away uh, from traffic lights, but uh, nothing that a bit of Red X can't fix. We got down to St Margaret's, had a wonderful takeaway actually. If you are in St Margaret's, I don't know the name of this pizza place, but they do proper stone-baked pizzas for takeaway and they were absolutely awesome. Stayed over with my sister and brother-in-law who have a house there uh, because my sister works in television in London. Ooh, what we do? Yeah, she was uh, she was one of the producers for Time Team for about five years. Um, but I had a good time. Met my little nephew Henry, um, who's coming on in leaps and bounds. Oh, I love little children, but I, I couldn't really eat a whole one. So uh, we then went on the train from St Margaret's into Waterloo, um, and so we went off for another meeting. This time for some sort of committee thing that she's she's been voted in as an item of furniture well she told me she was a chair or something but you know each to their own and whilst she was in this meeting that was six hours yes that's right six hours i thought i'd go and kill some time in central london i had my multi-pass uh, i took great delight every time i got to a tube station pulling it out and going multi-pass uh, much to the bemusement of the locals and uh, probably didn't endear myself in the tube because I talk to people and they don't like people who talk on the tube. Apparently we're lower than child molesters if, if we talk to people on the tube, but you know, I'm in southern fairies. 
Um, it had a good rove around, uh, almost like a Monopoly board pub crawl in a way, but didn't go to the pubs. Had lunch in a lovely Weatherspoons. You know where you are with the Weatherspoons. Good fare, fairly realistic price, and uh, you, know, you know what you're getting. That was fairly nice. And I went to Harrods. Now, Harrods, it's a strange place. It's an emporium of tat and bling with a sky-high price tag for people for whom money really doesn't have any value. And one thing that really caught my eye was a toy, yes, that's right, a toy Range Rover, big enough for two children to sit in. It had a lawnmower engine in the back. Um, fairly basic, fairly toy-like, but with an astronomical price tag, £40,000. I said to the sale assistant, I can buy a new Range Rover for less than that. They didn't really seem to pick up on the sarcasm. But yeah, I had a good wander around. They've actually got a toy department there. Um, everything at RRP Plus. Uh, not actually that much Hornby there. <laughs> a bit like going to Beals in Bolton, but with less of a choice. Um, I was in there for actually about two hours. Um, really, really killed my feet. Oh, still paying the price with pulled muscles. But it was quite a grand day out. And then uh, we drove non-stop back from St Margaret's. Uh, back here, arriving back late on Saturday, and like a fool, I decided to work on the Sunday, because I quite like my Sunday shift. I get to uh, head up to Falkirk in Scotland, but really, actually, I was hurting all over, so I quite appreciated my weekend there. And that's really everything there is to say about our epic road trip, but it is the reason why um, there weren't too many videos at the end of last week. It's because we were away having fun, uh, driving around 600 miles on our round trip. But... These three records will probably feature on my uh, greatest 1,000 final LPs, in my opinion, at some later point. We're going to do some more of those videos, but also we're going to go back and we're going to do what you love. Yes, you do. Well, actually, the view hits do kind of corroborate with this. Some watching trains go by videos, and of course, we're going to talk a little bit, a bit more about Bolton Trinity Road in the shed. I think there's a couple of areas I haven't really talked about. So we thought we'd do a video on that. And don't forget that Garden Railway extension. It hasn't been forgotten. The brick piers are in there. But we're waiting for a bit more of the fence to be taken out. A couple of conifer trees to be cut down because they're sitting slap bang in the middle of the track bed for now. Um, but that will come when the weather improves because it's no fun building stuff in the garden when it's really wet and soggy and horrible. But anyway, don't forget to stay tuned for some more epic videos. And I'm not going to do the epic voice because it gives me a sore throat. And uh, like our videos, uh, because they are very likeable indeed. And don't forget to share these videos, because of course there are loads of people who are not uh, yet well informed of the awesomeness that is the Jenny channel. And, uh, well, you take very good care of yourself, my friends. And I'll be seeing you in not too distant future. Bye for now.